Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Here I am at ITW 2016 with my friend Roger Wiley. He is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing of Nebraska Data Centers. Roger, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. So I hear that you just went through an amazing rebrand from Nebraska Co-location Centers to now Nebraska Data Centers. Uh, why now and what does it mean? It's really twofold. Uh, the first part of it is this natural progression for our company. We started the company five years ago um, and had to get established in the co-location business and, uh, and prove ourselves in the marketplace before we could really take it on a national level. So a, a natural progression for us is to go from the co-location business to a wholesale business strategy for data center space, uh, which is really following the second piece of it, and that's a trend in the industry that people are moving into uh, looking for more larger space environments where they can leverage the infrastructure that's already existing within a, 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 a data center space. Right, right. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes mm -hmm. sense. And now, also here uh, at International Telecoms Week, ITW, you have big news today that you just launched. You're <laughs> expanding your services. Can you tell us some more? Yeah, we, uh, we've been known more locally and regionally as a um, a co-location center, so we are now offering uh, three different product lines to try to meet needs and demands of the marketplace. Uh, the first layer is a uh, what we call a powered shell, and a powered shell is essentially raw data center space inside of our infrastructure, so companies can take advantage of our, genera our generators, our uh, backup power system, our security, building security, but they have the flexibility to build whatever data center space they want within the facility. Uh, the second phase of that, or second layer, is if a, data, if a company does not want to design and, and build their own data center, we will build it to their requirements, their specifications, and that's a, a custom build or a, a, a design to suit kind of mentality where they get the raw space, they get to invest it, design it how they want to, um, but they don't have to necessarily manage the process. And then the third option is uh, what we call managed suites, which is not new to us, but it is a full service turnkey kind of solution. Uh, if a company is based on one of the coasts, uh, they have the opportunity to uh, not have to manage the facility itself, um, but they still get their private um, environment for their data center space, and they get to leverage the shared in environment within the building. So it gives it gives companies the option to pick the solution that fits their needs, and also gives them more control over the data center space. So the shell, the customized, and the managed, mm -hmm. there, um, are there specific targets, uh, uh, verticals for each of those, or who are your customers? Uh, it's interesting because the industry has changed so much that uh, there's lots of trends that have, have happened or, or where in the old days, or not that long ago, uh, companies were building massive ground-up type of data centers, and now the trend is uh, to get out of the data center business and focus on their core, and core services. And so they're looking for facilities like us. So what's really happening is that there's a, a, a movement from going from two to three data centers across the United States to uh, maybe 20 and having smaller build outs and leveraging existing infrastructure. So you get more diversity, you get um, geographical uh, diversity there. You also get carrier and connectivity diversity, but the most important part of it is it's getting your network out to the edge where the end users are and it improves the performance. Yeah. Quality and uh, redundancy, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't beat that. Right. So, looking into your crystal ball, <laughs> you love this question. Yeah. Uh, Nebraska data centers, where will you be in a year from now? You know, we'll be, we're continuing. We just really launched this at this show. Um, we're really kind of coming out of our shell is kind of what we put it. But uh, we <laughs> have, that. yeah, we have, we have been a carrier hotel since in the 80s, and we have 40, over 40 carriers in our facility. Uh, so now we're really trying to make it, uh, let companies know that we're here. We're located in the middle of the country. So we're perfectly positioned to, uh, to uh, support those businesses that are out there. So a year from now, I expect we're going to have uh, considerable build outs. We've, we've kind of uh, getting the word out right now at this show, starting with this show, that we are a national player and we, are, we can offer the connectivity throughout the world, frankly, um, that would allow them to build out infrastructure with us. It's low price, low cost, um, you know, affordable infrastructure that helps them be competitive in the marketplace. 
Yeah, I saw a cool graphic on your website where it literally illustrated how equidistant you yeah. you're, you're located, and, yeah. and uh, that's that's clearly a, a, a benefit right. your, your location. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so for our viewers who may want to know more and check out that cool graphic, where can they go? <laughs> uh, we just launched this website last week, so if you go to NebraskaDataCenters.com, uh, you can pull it up. There's actually video content on there. There's opportunity to learn more about us, and I would encourage you to. You know, if, if you see something or you think it fits into your business uh, model, we'd love to talk to you about it. We, we understand uh, business, and you know, it's a technology solution, but it's a business decision. And we'd love to sit down and just talk and figure out whether or not our facility would meet the needs or fits into your, your overall business model. So we'd love to have a conversation, but check us out on the web first. Roger, it was a pleasure having you. Thank you. And uh, thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.